You know, after being a truck driver for a lot of years, one of the things I always wanted to do was to generate some side money, extra money, maybe build a business on the side that's going to help me generate more money for myself and for my family to just basically live a better life, make ends meet a lot better. And one of the things I decided to do years ago was to start learning some of this online stuff. I wanted to learn how to build out websites. I wanted to learn search engine optimization because the way I figured was if I can help like a local business, a local contractor, local home service to get found better online and generate more money for that business, that business would pay me to be able to do that. And over the years, I've been able to accomplish that and now do this full time. But as the years went by, one of the things I'd started to discover was that more important than ever was the Google business profiles for the businesses that I was helping. And I was starting to realize the importance of getting a business into the three pack of Google. More importantly, as especially the last couple of years with all this AI advancement and all this stuff going on. And over the years, one of the things I was realizing was when I was building out websites, I was learning how to structure, I was learning SEO, um, how to build out pages, write content, all that good stuff. One of the things I was accidentally learning and discovering was that a lot of the websites that I was building for some of these contractors, home services, and local businesses was getting their business profile pushed higher and higher on those on the map listing and getting, getting pushed into that three pack of Google. And I want to share with you guys what I strongly believe Google's actually looking at and how it's making its decision on how and who to place in that three pack of Google. And I wanna share with you guys what I've discovered so that way you guys can use it for your business, your Google business profile, and get you out in front of more customers in the local market you provide those services in. What up there guys, Is here once again with Get Busy LLC. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's not waste any time. I wanna share with you guys how I accidentally discovered Google's algorithm the system it uses, whatever you want to call it, on how it decides who to place into that three pack of Google for a particular search or a particular service in a particular area. So it doesn't matter what the service is. It could be a carpet cleaning business, a lawn care service, somebody who remodels houses, somebody who does junk removal. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you guys what I discovered over the years so that way you guys can implement this onto your business and help you get pushed into that three pack of Google where a vast majority of the leads for your business will come from, from people looking for your service online. So basically it comes down to something called topical authority, topical relevance. This is what these SEO guys and SEO geeks online like to refer it to. In other words, Google wants to know if a particular business knows their stuff. The way that I articulate it, to make it easy to understand since I work with contractors and home service business owners is basically Google wants to know if you know your shit. That's pretty much it. So how does Google figure that out? There's no other way for Google to see or read or understand what you do and the service you provide other than the website you built out for your business and place online and connect to the Google business profile. Where else, where else could it possibly understand what it is that you do other than the website you connect to that listing. That is the, the language that Google reads online. It reads websites, it's we, it reads structure, it reads algorithms, that's all it really does. We tend to look at websites in our eyes as a human being and the way Google looks at websites, this is just how I theorize it and it actually, actually is looking at websites. It's looking at websites like Neo in the Matrix when he finally realizes that uh, he's in a computer simulation, he finally opens his eyes and sees just a grid of numbers and, and rhythms and code and all this other crap. That's how Google reads websites. It just reads them just algorithmically, uh, system, mathematics, just code and things like that. And that's all it really does. That's how it makes this decision and reads what it is that you basically do, how so it reads, what services you provide and where you, you provide those services in. So I'm gonna share with you guys an example of a business I've been helping just the last few months to get their business profile from not being relatively close to, to the three pack of Google and now just completely dominating that particular area. And I'm gonna show you guys the website and how I structured it and how Google actually reads websites. I'm gonna show you guys exactly the patterns that it's looking for and the system that it just, 
just how Google reads things, right? So I'll try to make it as easy as I can I can't for you to understand. So once you guys see this, you guys can do some of the stuff on your website that you connect to that Google business profile and push your listing to the top. Let me show you how I strongly believe that Google reads websites and makes this determination to put a business into that three pack of Google. So let's go ahead and take a look at this website right here. If I scroll through, it looks pretty. This is, I'm looking at this website through my eyes as a human being. If you look at it on a mobile, it looks really good as well. And it just goes, oh, this is a really nice looking website. But now I'm going to pretend that I'm Google's crawlers. I'm Google's system. I'm Google's algorithm, whatever the hell you want to call it. How do I Google see this website? How do I like the matrix see through all the code, see through all the, the cosmetic look of the website, but actually see the code and what I'm trying to articulate to the search engine. So I'm going to share with you guys exactly how Google crawls a website and makes this determination if this business knows their industry inside and out, because the way you structure the website is the language that Google speaks, the, the system it sees. So let me go ahead and show you how I think it does it, right? So the very first thing that Google will do on this website is just scroll through it. This is going to crawl through it. The crawler is going to crawl through it and immediately is going to see that this is a paving comp contractor in Fort Collins, Colorado, right? So it's telling you right by the title that this is a paving contractor in Fort Collins. And it's going through and making sure it's got enough content to back that up. I don't know if it really reads it. I think it looks for patterns and recognizing that you're talking about that, that particular service, whatever it might be. It's looking for all that. It's looking for enough content to just kind of crawl through it and determine, yes, indeed, this, this page here is talking about paving contractor in this particular area. That's what it's doing. So it's crawling through here. Now, as the Google crawls through this website, it's starting to see the links on the page. So it's going to see, oh, there's a link here. It says Asphalt Contractor Services. So when I click on this, it goes to another page. Same with this other link. It goes to driveway installation, driveway repairs, parking lot repairs, concrete contractor services, Google seeing these links. So now let's say Google crawls through this page. It's going to click on this link. This is the language that it's speaking, that it's reading. Now Google's going to say, okay, it says Asphalt Contractor in Fort Collins, Colorado. Okay. Interesting. It's going to go through that same pattern, read this page and go, okay, this seems like they're talking to, he's, this page is talking about asphalt paving, asphalt contractor services in the same location. And as a Google crawls through this page, it's going to see more links going out yet again. Okay. Google's going to go, oh, there's a, pay, there's a link that says asphalt driveway paving. There's another link that says asphalt parking lot, pay, parking lots, asphalt repairs. Very, very interesting. So it's crawling through here. Not only that, it's looking at this, this is the URL right up here, the way this website is structured. So right here, this is basically saying that this is a paving contractor in this particular area. And this sub page here is telling Google's algorithm that it's branching off and telling, telling its customers that he offers asphalt contractor services as well. So now Google's gonna crawl this page again, again, just crawl it like a machine. It's just reading, make sure there's enough content. It's really talking about those types of things. Believe it or not, I think it looks at the images. Make sure you the images are articulating to the customers what the service is as well. So now Google's going to crawl and click and go to this particular link because it's displayed on this page. It's going to go to this page and it's going to see that it's Fort Collins Asphalt Driveway Paving. There's another page. Now this page is particular to driveway paving with asphalt. So Google, again, is going to crawl this page. It's going to make sure it's got enough content that it's articulating to its customers. And it really knows that you're talking about all these types of um, driveways, like new installations, resurfacing, overlays, repairs, seal coating, everything related to driveways. Google's going to crawl and see that we are articulating all this information uh, on this particular page. And it's going to see the structure here. You're going to see the structure out here. Now, Google sees, okay, this is asphalt driveway paving under the category of asphalt contractor services under the main category of paving services 
in this particular area. So Google's seeing this page, seeing how it's structured. It's seeing a link here that goes right back to the subcategory again of asphalt contractor services. Now Google crawls this page again, looks through here and sees, let's say new asphalt installation. So Google crawls this page, makes sure this page is about new asphalt installation under the category of asphalt contractor. You see this, so it crawls to make sure there's enough content. The images make sense for this particular topic. Make sure that there is a link that points right back to its main hub page, Asphalt Contractor Services, and this page naturally links right back to this page right there. So this is the language that Google is reading on the website. It's not particularly really crawling it and really in detail. I think Google is just making sure there's enough content to back up that you are that particular service. And when they go to another page, for example, the asphalt contractor page is crawling through here, make sure there's enough information talking about that topic or category. And it's looking to see if it's branching off and going into even more detail about this particular service. For example, this one is asphalt parking lot paving. So then it's looking at the URL up here, make sure you've structured this website correctly. So this is exactly how Google's seeing this website, how it's mapped out in its own code or whatever the hell that uses, right? This is how it's, it's a paving contractor in that particular city. There's pages to reinforce that this is a paving contractor. Then it's seeing that it branches off over here and it's telling Google that this also a paving an asphalt contractor under the category of paving and then they're supporting pages to support this right here. And then I go further and I talk about the concrete stuff. I talk about road construction. I haven't worked on those pages quite yet. We're going to work on those in the future, but that's all we're doing. We're building up topical authority. We are letting Google that know that this business knows this industry of paving contract or paving services inside and out, even for some of the most smaller details on that website. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mimic my location. I'm gonna pretend that I'm sitting there in Fort Collins, Colorado, and I'm gonna type in particular things, and you're going to see parking lot repairs. Where's the, there's their listing. Driveway paving services, there's their listing. Paving company, there's their listing. And believe it or not, as time goes on, I strongly believe that all this AI stuff, the algorithm behind the AI recommendations and things like that, it's going to work similarly the same. It's going to have to get that information from somewhere, right? So it's, you have to put it on the website that you built for your business or else where else is it going to pull it out of thin air? It needs to know what you do and that you're an expert at what you do. So let me show you some results from this new chat chat Atlas thing that I just came out. So I did a couple of chat chat GBT searches. This whole new chat Atlas is supposed to be a new search engine. And I predict, I'm going to figure this out no matter what it takes to how that whole search engine works as well. But I'm already starting to see uh, the patterns are almost the same as Google, right? It's going to, it wants to know that you're a pro, what you do. So I just pretended. I said, I need someone that does driveway paving in Fort Collins. There you go. The first one it shows me is that same business. And I asked another question. I'm doing some new construction in Fort Collins and I need a good paving company that can help with roads and parking lots. Look at that. It's recommending that business as well. Who does paving repairs well in Fort Collins? There's that business again. You see what I mean? So I can I tell people, where, where's this all this online stuff? Where's all these, these algorithms? Where's these search engines going to gather the information of the services that you provide? There's only one way that you can really tell it. It's by the website you put out there on the internet. You give it as much information. You tell people you know your stuff inside and out. It's going to relay it to these platforms. And I think eventually this chat GBT stuff and whatever takes over Google, if it ever does take over, I just don't see Google going away. So, I mean, maybe you never know, but whatever the search engine, whatever the thing's going to take over, it's still going to follow the same rules, the same patterns. It's going to want to know somebody who's good at what they do, provides enough information. And of course, there's other things you're going to need to do. You need to be good at business, obviously get good reviews, um, know your, know your craft inside and out and articulate it well online. So there you have it. That's how I think Google's system, its algorithm, it reads code and crawls websites and makes its determination on who it's going to place at the top of the three pack of Google. And of course, with this chat GBT stuff and maybe a chat search engine in the future, 
I don't really see any other way that the crawlers are going to, over whatever system is using, it's going to make a determination of who to place and recommend to businesses other than a business displaying their expertise. And later on, if they have reviews and all this other stuff, all that stuff's going to take into account. It's basically going to be the same thing as that Google map listings. That's just my prediction. That's what I think is going to happen. So if you're like a local business, like a home service, a contractor that want to do some of this stuff on their own, build out their website that builds up authority and trust and things like that. I have training that show you guys how to do that step by step. I have the complete template to show you how to build that website and structure and interlink it just like the one I just showed you and really speaks Google's language and make it clear to, to the search engine exactly what you do and where you provide that service. If you're a local business that doesn't want to deal with any of this stuff, just want somebody else to do this for you, you can go to the link in the description. I have services where I provide the, the website design and some of this SEO stuff. That's something you want somebody else to do for you. So you just get yourself to the top of the search results and get that done. But I honestly think anybody can do this stuff as long as you spend the time, spend a little bit of effort into it. Like I said, I was determined, stubborn. I learned this crap sitting in my truck little by little. And then as I started to do this more and more full time, I just started to see patterns and patterns and I could see and I started learned more things. I took more training, learned from other SEO people, and I put all the pieces together. And this is exactly what I think Google does to determine who it will place into that three pack of Google. So if you guys want to check out some more of my videos, I'll just put a link of a video right here, just a random one. I'd, I'll just think about it later and put this in here. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.